Hi everyone, Kathy here from Kathy's Happy Home. Thanks for coming by to see what I'm up to. And as you notice, I'm still a little swollen here with the uh, extraction I had on Monday. And it's Friday now. I'm hoping this stops soon. I'm off the antibiotics, taking painkillers when I need it, but I don't need it that much anymore, so that's good. Um, but I'm still having trouble eating. So today I'm going to make something that is soft and easy and I thought I would take you along for it and let me show you what I'm making. I have a leftover rotisserie chicken and that's what gave me the idea to make a chicken pot pie. So I mixed up some Bisquick and milk and that will be my crust on the top. I was going to make biscuits, but I didn't have enough Bisquick. <laughs> I ran out. So that goes on the shopping list for this week. I have a can of cream of chicken soup. The chicken, of course. Oops. <laughs> a bag of mixed vegetables. And you see, it's only half a bag. This is cleaning up. <laughs> um, I have a stick of butter and add some milk. I have the oven set for 375 and I am melting about a tablespoon of butter in a frying pan. I put this half a bag of mixed vegetables in the pan and I'm going to stir it up and let them cook for a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to be shredding this rotisserie chicken into this container. I got a lot more chicken than I expected off of this carcass. And I mean, I picked every single bit I could find. So, let's add that to the veggies. So now I have the veggies. The chicken, I added the can of cream of chicken soup. I added about a quarter cup of milk just to thin it out a little bit. And now stir, stir, stir. I hope this turns out. I've never made this before. So, your guess is as good as mine. But it, the recipe sounded good. I'm going to add a little salt. Just a little because the soup is already salted. And pepper. I do like pepper. I'm going to mix it up. And now it's ready to put in the casserole dish. This smells amazing. Oh, my mouth is watering now. <laughs> now, what I did was make my biscuit uh, batter very watery. So I'm just going to pour that on top. But let me get rid of the spoon first. I hope you can see this through the glass dish. I just need to use both hands to get this dough out. But I'm pouring this all over the top of the chicken and vegetable mixture. And then I'm going to spread it out. So this is going to make the crust. Okay. Now I can raise you up and you can see it's not going to cover it completely and that's fine but it will bake up to be a little biscuity crusty topping for this I'm going to sprinkle the top with Italian seasoning. Hope you can see that. And 
I'm just sprinkling a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit over the top here. Now I'm going to stick it into the oven, 350 oven, for about 8 minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm going to clean up this mess I have on the table. Those biscuits just would not cook. So, I ended up putting it at 400. And so it cooked at 375 for 8 minutes, and then it cooked at 400 for 8 minutes. But it is beautiful now. And you can see it bubbling. I'm going to set the table while it cools off. I don't know what happened to the last part of this video. I was tasting it, and I told you how good it was. Um, but it didn't film. I don't know. Anyway, it was very good. And uh, I had two small helpings, and Joe finished it up, and he doesn't even like chicken pot pie. So you know it was good. I would definitely make it again. Um, it's a great way to use up those leftovers, especially when we have a rotisserie chicken. Only next time, I think I would get the, um, the rolls that they tell you to get, the grand, Pillsbury Grands in the tube, and uh, do it that way. I will give you the original recipe um, in the description box. Um, well, actually, I will give you the link to it, and I don't have to write it all out. And um, I hope that you'll try it and enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. So, until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.